Hi everybody, Daphne here. So just to give you a heads up, uh, this guy, this guy right here, he's being a little talkative right now. So um, I'm going to be technically competing with him uh, throughout this video. So um, instead of doing this video over and over again or trying to edit him out, I'm just going to let him do his thing and um, hopefully uh, the information that I'm trying to get through this video will still get through. So in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to travel and still be um, artistically busy while you're traveling. So a while ago, I did a video on my car kit, uh, on the art supply kit that I made specifically for when I'm in my car. And I'll put a link to it somewhere right here. <laughs> so you can uh, check that out uh, to see my, uh, my art kit for that. But in this uh, particular, in this particular case, what we're talking about is traveling and still being able to do uh, art at the same time. Uh, we all know that traveling can kind of put a crimp in our scheduling. Um, it can kind of, you know, get in the way of whatever project groove that we have. So this is a way, uh, this, this is what I do in order to kind of to continue that groove without my traveling uh, interfering too much uh, with me being able to do artwork. So uh, the first thing that you really have to think about when you're traveling and putting together your art kit for traveling is what are you going to be doing in the time that you're gone? Um, take into consideration the amount of time you're going to be gone on your trip and um, what exactly you expect to, to do on this trip. Um, it's very easy to, you know, we all know about overpacking, and it's very easy to overestimate the amount of work that we think we can do on vacation or, or, or traveling, just traveling in general. And a lot of times, we end up bringing a lot more stuff than we really realistically was able was able to do. So in my case, I'm going to be traveling for about a month and I needed to really think about what I wanted to do. I the one one thing that I didn't want to do was I didn't want to bring comic book pages to work on. Comic book pages are really, really large. They're, you know, a whole pack of 11 by 17 paper. Um, the place that I'm going isn't exactly the best place in order to work on uh, comic book pages. And I'm ahead enough in my schedule for those comic book pages that I don't need to worry about them. So I was able to take that project off the table uh, to begin with. So I didn't need uh, to worry about that. So that narrowed down what exactly I was going to be doing. At least I didn't have to worry about how I was going to pack um, these, you know, this pack of uh, comic book pages or, you know, enough paper to do a comic book. At least I don't have to worry about that. So instead, I decided to keep my project small um, and still, it'd still be able to do uh, proper work, uh, but at a small enough scale that being on vacation, like it wouldn't interfere with the vacation and the vacation wouldn't interfere with this. So first I had to start off with putting together my main art supply kit that I know that I was going to, to use. So in this case, literally, uh, this is a Copic case uh, that I purchased on Amazon. It was their inking case, so it came with all the inking pieces. And the case was large enough that I was able to put in a lot more supplies than, you know, than I, I guess what I originally thought I was going to bring. So as you can see, this is my this is my uh, basic basic supplies. It, that pretty much that uh, no matter what project I, I, I 
brought with me this case was going to come with me as as it is now so as you can see here we have a set um, of Statler pigment multi liners and we also have the Copic multi liners that came with the case so I have two sets, actually three sets of multi-liners because I have two sets of uh, uh, of the, the Statlers because uh, what I'm looking on doing is just doing a lot of black and white inking. Um, so I need, I, I need as many pens as I, I figure I can bring with me. I have my standard uh, mechanical pencil and the reason why I call it standard is because it has um, standard HB lead in it and I'm going to explain why this is standard because these my other mechanical pencils these are my uh, color pencils in the sense that these are my drawing pencils but as you can see from the labels they have uh, different color lead in it uh, you can refer to my um, penciling comics video uh, in order to uh, get a clear idea as to why I use uh, different color leads as opposed to just using a standard uh, pencil. Uh, long story short, uh, if I ink on top of colored lead, uh, I don't have to erase when uh, when I scan anything and I don't have to when I when I'm inking I can all I can take out the color after I scan it in so my inks stay pretty pristine so and also with the kit comes the refills for the Copic pens and then here's the black uh, refill for the two black markers Well, for the three black markers, actually, we have a wide nib, we have a standard nib, and I think this is uh, this is the brush nib, which I haven't uh, tried yet. And I have my white gel pen, a gold gel pen, and a silver gel pen. So as you can see, I can keep everything neatly in in this pack without it being too bulky or feeling like I'm bringing uh, too much so I just pretty much fit everything where I can and then I just have a regular pen that uh, also fits in here I have a small straight edge because I don't want to bring a full-size ruler when something like this will do and then I have my pack with the color leads as you can see here's the, the green the red and the blue here's my standard lead uh, uh, a standard eraser um, a vinyl eraser and a kneaded eraser uh, the difference being that the kneaded eraser is better at erasing the color lead and the vinyl eraser is better at uh, with the erasing the the standard lead so that's the that's my main kit that I'm bringing with me so you know it's a good size um, like I said it's 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 not too bulk. I mean it's it's bulky but not too bad for the amount of supplies that's in here and um, I can pretty much just toss this in into my backpack and I'll have everything with me so the next thing that I put together is um, oh yes you know which sketchbooks I'm bringing so I decided for this trip the artwork that I'm doing doesn't have to be that large so again that helps me condense the amount of supplies that I'm bringing so this is a mixed media uh, sketchbook uh, five and a half by eight and a half and pretty much it's going to serve what I need I like the thickness of the paper uh, better than a standard sketchbook usually the paper is a little too soft for what I'm, I'm trying to do so I chose the mixed media to give me a little bit more uh, rigidity to the paper so and then the next thing I'm bringing is my note 
uh, my, my Galaxy Note. Uh, it's the 5, so I don't have to worry about it exploding on anybody. Um, it's Wi-Fi enabled uh, only, so that way I can use it to, uh, to uh, download reference images or you know, anything that I need to go with the artwork. And also it's good because I have also the Kindle app on this, so I don't have to bring actual reading books. So that's, again, that's, that's a small size that I don't have to worry about. Um, I'm bringing a regular notebook. Uh, for this, I'm going to use this to organize um, everything uh, that I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel, what videos I'm going to be doing, what other projects I'm going to have to uh, keep a track of um, when I get back. So it's just to keep uh, everything organized. And then this one is an autograph book that I got from Walt Disney World that I actually use as a sketchbook. So I'm looking to do a couple of more uh, to, to fill this up, fill this up a little bit more. So I figure I'll bring it with me. You know, at least it's small enough that I can do, you know, some small sketches and again, not take up a lot of space. Um, and then this is just miscellaneous, my little bag of buttons that I carry around to give out, you know, if, you know, I see people I like. And, uh, and then, um, this might be me, uh, overthinking how much work I'm going to be able to do. Um, I've been meaning to finally get through this project so I figure I just bring one base the first basic book and the basic CDs um, and see if I can get a little French study on while I'm gone um, I might be overpacking this but considering that everything fits in this case um, what's it called a bagalini I think this is a bagalini bag that I got off of Amazon so because everything fits in here, I figure, well, it's taking it out is not going to really save me anything. So I might as well just take it with me and take the chance that I'll use it or not use it. I mean, technically, if I could just bring the one or the two sketchbooks, um, but like I said, I'm going to be gone, you know, traveling for a month. So I figure I'll... I bring a little bit more to do. The worst that happens is that I don't actually do them, but they're not taking up a lot of space either. Because this could also just, I just throw this in my backpack with the other uh, case and we're good to go. So the last thing that I decided was that I had wanted to do some color work. That, that I know pretty much for sure I'm going to be doing, uh, especially with the little Disney sketchbook. The problem was, was that it would be completely impractical to bring the entire, uh, what is it, like 200 markers with me. It, it's completely impractical. Um, the easier way would be to bring a watercolor set and some brushes, but that really wasn't something I felt like practicing because it, it, it's been a while since I used that and really don't I really don't feel like practicing watercolor on this trip so I figure I just stick with what I know but how do I narrow down the markers that I'm going to take with me so what I did is I looked online and I looked at the Prismacolor charts and pretty much put together a list of the smallest collection of markers uh, based on the sets that Prismacolor sells. Uh, th so this is like the smallest amount of markers that I figured that there was enough of everything for me to not feel like I was missing out on a color. Uh, so we have, I guess we have the, the 42 uh, set uh, marker uh, selection here. And then these, this is the set for the uh, flesh tone uh, set that they also have. The crossed out ones are duplicates that, that are in this set. So what I did was I took this chart and I just took the colors from my set, my, my main set, 
and just followed this chart and put it in this bag here, um, this makeup case. So again, it's like trying to keep everything compact, uh, but still have enough supplies for me to work with. Um, technically, if I'm missing anything, where I'm going to be at, I can find like a Michaels or, or, or an art supply store, a Dick Blix. I think there's one nearby. Um, I can just go there in a pinch if I need anything. But at least this way, if I don't have to spend money on, on buying supplies that I know I have already, I don't need to. So here is, you know, so in the end, the main, the main components of my travel kit are these three bags. Again, if I had wanted, I can make this smaller by just taking the sketchbook and not worrying about anything else. But um, like I said, it, it really doesn't take up that much space. So at least this way, I have enough supplies to do artwork and not feel like I'm missing something. So we have that. Now, the trick is, is that if you're deciding to do something digital, if you're deciding to work digitally, um, of course you're going to need a laptop. Uh, you're gonna bring your laptop, you're gonna bring a hard drive. Um, what's funny is that I have this monster of a laptop that it's a 17 inch, um, at the time it seemed like a good idea to get a laptop this large um it's six pounds again at the time it didn't seem like such a big deal but now that i'm trying to keep it light um i kind of wish i had bought and had bought uh i had bought a smaller laptop uh especially nowadays the laptops they're they're a lot more powerful they're, and they're smaller and they're very light. So if you're in the market for a new laptop, I suggest, especially if you're gonna do a lot of traveling with it, get as small of a laptop as uh, you feel comfortable working on. Because trust me, you're going to end up regretting getting the large one thinking, well, I have the big screen and you know the big computer. It's like, no, you're gonna end up regretting that. But you know, this is probably going to be the heaviest thing in my, in my kit, uh, you know, for, for this. But in the end though, if you're looking for something a little bit more compact, if you're looking to just take your basic art supplies, not worrying about a computer, then I would say like these, like this is the, the way to go. Um, keep it, you know, keep it simple, keep it small, and uh, you know, don't overestimate the amount of work you're going to do uh, so that you're not bringing a ton of supplies that you're just gonna end up dragging along on your trip and not really doing anything with. And it, all it is just adds bulk and weight to your luggage. So um, I hope uh, this video was helpful for you. And um, you know, and I, and I hope uh, there's a lot of travels in your future so that uh, you can try this out and see what kind of uh, art kits you can put together for yourself. So um, if you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you know the deal, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.